In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on April 15, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Tampa Bay Rays vs Chicago White Sox A pair of teams that won division crowns in the American League last season open up a weekend set on the south side of the Windy City. The Tampa Bay Rays are on the road as they kick off a three-game set with the Chicago White Sox Friday night. Tampa Bay dropped a 6-3 decision at home to Oakland Thursday afternoon to lose three of the four games in the series. Chicago closed a three-game series at home with Seattle Thursday afternoon but missed a chance at a sweep as they fell 5-1. Last season, the team split six meetings with with the Rays taking two of three at home in the most recent series between the teams August 20th to 22nd, 2021. Dylan Cease looked excellent his first time out this season picking up the win on five strong innings surrendering just one run on two hits while striking out eight. He is a promising young arm that looks ready to take the next leap this season. Drew Rasmussen went just four innings in his first start while giving up two runs. The White Sox have looked good thus far entering Friday's action winners of four of their last five. While the Rays are still trying to find their footing after losing 3 of 4 to the A's, Chicago has gotten their offense going pretty well in the early going. They managed three or more runs in each of their first five games. In Thursday's matchup, the Sox could only find four hits, resulting in a single run. They're going to need a nice bounce-back effort in this one. As for Tampa, they've had some issues filling out their rotation already and the team has looked out of sorts at times. It's been a mixed bag at best. In the finale versus the A's, the Rays died another death of many cuts. They're too good of a team to be down for long, but I don't think they'll quite recover here. Should be a pretty good matchup regardless. With the advantage on the hill, look for Chicago to jump on Rasmussen early and take control of this game from the jump. So the Chicago White Sox money line is our full game side pick. Last season, these two offenses ranked among the best in baseball with the Rays finishing second and runs scored and the Sox finishing seventh. Both of these lineups are incredibly deep and versatile and will pose fits for opposing pitchers all season. Neither starting pitcher gave their team great length in their first start and it's likely we can expect to see a lot of bullpen action in this game as well. The over is 4-1 in the Rays' last five and Chicago's potent offense looks poised to capitalize on their struggling staff. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. San Francisco Giants vs. Cleveland Guardians We will have some interleague baseball on Friday evening as the San Francisco Giants will take on the Cleveland Guardians in the first game of this series. The Giants will have southball Carlos Rodon to the mound while the Guardians are sending young righty Zach Plesak to pitch. Rodon threw five innings and allowed a run on three hits with two walks and 12 strikeouts against the Miami Marlins while Plesak had a no decision of his own against the Kansas City Royals as he threw 5.2 shutout innings with three hits and three strikeouts. The San Francisco Giants are 8-1 in the last nine meetings. The Giants are 5-1 in their last six interleague games versus a right-handed starter and are 22-5 in their last 27 games following an off day. The Giants are 4-1 in their last five interleague games and are 4-1 in their last five interleague games as a favorite. The Guardians are 1-5 in their last six Friday games and are 0-4 in their last four games following an off day. San Francisco has won eight of the last nine head-to-head -head with Cleveland. San Francisco starting pitcher Carlos Rodon started his season strong with a 2-1 victory over the Miami Marlins last Saturday pitching five innings and allowing just one run on three hits while fanning 12. The Giants have the fourth best team ERA in baseball at 2.62 and are holding opponents to an average of just .221 at the plate. So the San Francisco Giants' money line is our full game side pick. There's hopes of a Plesak bounce back after he was a very effective pitcher in 2019 and 2020 before looking sharp to open this season and Cleveland has one of the best pitching development programs in baseball. The Guardians always seem to find a number of strong options in the bullpen every year, and Emmanuel Clays can get out of a high leverage situation as one of the best relievers in the sport. San Francisco is only league average in most batting stats so far, as a combination of some regression plus the injuries to Longoria 
and Wade Jr. could make this unit fall off at least slightly from last year. Both pitching staffs have plenty of great options. These teams are good pitching teams and should be able to silence some bats throughout the order with Plesak and Rodon on the hill. Both of these offenses have been solid this season, but these pitching staffs have shut the door down early. The Giants are tied for third with a 3 ER as a staff in innings 1 through 6 while the Guardians are right behind coming off a mutual off day. The bats can go cold as they are used to playing every day. Carlos Rodon was rock solid in his debut and while he's not the ace type name among the elite pitchers in the game, Zach Plesek is more than capable of matching zeros with Rodon and I think this game is shaping up to be a bit of a lower scoring pitcher's duel. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Angels vs. Texas Rangers The Texas Rangers play host to the Los Angeles Angels on Friday night from Globe Life Field. On Thursday, in the opener of the four-game weekend series, the Rangers came away with the 10-5 win against their American League West rival. Last season, the Angels won the season series, 11-8, and will look to bounce back after Thursday's surprising loss. With Texas being able to stay at home after their own midweek series, being at home throughout the weekend could be a massive advantage for this group though the Angels won't go down without a fight for the second straight night. A bullpen game from a team with a weak pitching staff is just what Mike Trout and company need to jumpstart their offense. Some positive regression is certainly in order for Trout, Otani, and Rendon to play to the backs of their baseball cards. This is just the kind of game that does it. An assortment of pitchers who mostly were reasons the team had nearly a five combined ER last season. While some of the arms the Rangers will bring out are not bad, they will provide much easier fodder for an Angels team who has faced more for formidable starting pitching in the early going. Reed Devers may not fulfill all of his enormous potential on Friday night, but he should have enough to make the runs Los Angeles scores stand up. The Angels drastically improved their bullpen during the offseason, adding Archie Bradley, Ryan Tepera, and Aaron Loop while keeping free agent Razel Iglesias in the fold. So even if Detmers can only go three or four innings, the Angels will have plenty to keep the Rangers hitters off the scoreboard. While Reed Detmers isn't a pitcher I'm thrilled to back, especially on the road, but he has a talented Angels lineup backing him up that's starting to heat up. Matt Bush has just six big league innings under his belt since 2019 and this isn't the type of lineup you want to face while still getting your feet wet. The Los Angeles Angels need to take advantage of games like this if they're going to make something of this season. So the Los Angeles Angels money line is our full game side pick. While the Astros get the most attention in the National League West, when these two teams face off fans are treated to a game featuring four of the most dynamic offensive talents in the game today. Corey Seager, Marcus Semien, and Shohei Otani put up monster numbers in 2021. And while Mike Trout had a down year due to injury, we all know what he is capable of when he is on the field. Put them up against an unproven rookie who has struggled with an ER near seven and a bullpen game from a shaky pitching staff. With Detmers and Bush getting the ball as starters for their respective teams, this isn't expected to be a game between two teams with much in the way of pitching. Bullpens could be the story and with both teams being without some of their relievers, it'll be interesting to see how both teams perform. Los Angeles has plenty of talent and the big names but Texas has proven to be one of the most dangerous teams on the offensive ends of things so far this season. After the two combined for 15 runs in Thursday's matchup, plenty of runs is to be expected in the rematch. Additionally, the over is 4-1 to one in Texas' last five Friday games. Look for plenty of early scoring as well as some add-on runs once the Rangers have to get deeper into their suspect bullpen. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.